Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. So, you have bought your meat rabbit breeders, you successfully bred them, your doe got pregnant, then she eventually gave birth and has raised her kits successfully, you have weaned the kits, and they are now considered grow outs, and they're getting pretty big, and you are almost ready to finally reap the harvest from all your hard work and get yourself some homegrown rabbit meat. But when is the best time to butcher your kits, and how do you make sure you get the most benefit for all the work you've put in? That's what we're going to talk about today. When deciding about butchering, there are two main things you need to consider. The most important thing is weight, how heavy your kits are. Most people usually agree that 5 pounds is your ideal butcher weight. Obviously, 5 pounds isn't as big as a rabbit can possibly get. Chances are your breeders are more like 10 to 12 pounds, and they have much more meat on their bodies. So wouldn't it be better to wait longer so they're bigger and you get more meat? Well, actually, no. Every single day you feed your rabbit is another day you are paying for their feed. So you want to get as much bang for your buck as possible. And for most rabbit breeds, 5 pounds seems to be the perfect weight for that. But weight isn't the only thing to consider. The slightly less important, but still vital consideration you need to make is their age. If you have very low quality breeding stock, like you found a rabbit on the side of the road or bought one from a pet store, or maybe they are a meat breed, but their genetics aren't quite up to the breed standard, then it might take your kids double the amount of time to reach 5 pounds. If you are feeding your high quality, genetically sound meat rabbit kits, pellets, then the perfect ideal goal is that they will reach butcher weight at 8 weeks old. Obviously though, a lot of us aren't going to reach the perfect goal all the time, so 10-12 to weeks is also acceptable on a heavy pellet diet. So reaching 5 pounds at 8-12 to weeks of age is the perfect sweet spot because by this point you already know that baby rabbits grow insanely quickly. In the past, just for fun, I have taken pictures of a rabbit litter every single week for a couple months, and it is insane how fast they grow. But then at a certain point, they will stop growing very quickly, and obviously they're still going to get bigger, but they will grow much more slowly while eating the same amount of pellets. So before your babies reach three months old, which is when their growth spurt kind of stops, you want their genetics to be good enough and to be feeding them well enough that you're getting the most meat out of them by that point. So if you're feeding pellets, your goal will be an 8 to 12 week old baby who weighs 5 pounds on an empty stomach. But then there are strange people like me who choose not to feed pellets and have a completely different way of answering this question of the best time to butcher. And when you're feeding your rabbits naturally, all the rules get thrown out the window and honestly I'm still figuring out what works best. I am still working on improving my breeding stock genetics and therefore my grow out genetics. So for example, I had Sterling, a very small, slow growing buck, breed with Zuzu, a very small, slow growing doe. And their babies are what, like four months, five months old? And they're still like four pounds. Partially because I've been feeding them a more natural diet that is not manufactured to be of as much nutrients as the rabbits can possibly take so they grow as quickly as possible, but also because their parents were very small and slow growing. On the flip side, I have a doe Edelweiss and a buck Henry, who both reached the butcher weight of 5 pounds before they were 3 months old, on the exact same diet that Zuzu and Sterling's babies were getting. So whenever I eventually breed them, their kits will probably be much faster growing, but they still won't grow as fast as if they were on pellets. So really, if you are DIYing your feeding regimen, you will also need to DIY your butcher weight answer. Every person is going to have access to different plants and different times of the year and different winter feeding plans. So while the basic principle of 5 pounds by 3 months old is still, you know, the perfect goal, how closely you follow this goal will vary. Like for me... I'm growing my kits out for longer, and maybe I'll butcher them at 4 pounds instead of 5 pounds because I'm running out of housing space, 
or maybe if you are heading into winter and your grass and weeds are going to stop growing pretty soon, maybe you'll butcher at 4 pounds or 3 pounds. Versus if you have spring babies who are going to get to enjoy vast amounts of spring and summer growth, maybe you do want to get them all the way up to 5 pounds, so you're willing to take a couple extra months to get them that far. I hope this information was helpful to you and that now you have some baseline data so that you can apply it to your rabbitry, whether that be really dialing in hard on the 5 pounds by 8 weeks goal with pellets, or taking this information and kind of morphing it into your own DIY natural feeding regimen. Either way, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for watching!